realized it in the fall when we were taking batting practice one day and there were a lot of home runs being hit out of the ballpark. We knew we had a special team at that time because of their uh, prolific nature of hitting the ball and, and doing it on a daily basis. It wasn't something that was just one day and then one day off. And so that really informed us as a coaching staff that we needed to nurture that part of our game. And, and uh, it was early on in the fall and then we played a series versus Chaminade and scored 60 runs in four games and that basically set the tone right there for the rest of our season. It's their hard work on the field. We pretty much work out an hour and a half each day as uh, hitters and not as fielders. So you can break it up any way you want. We try not to go more than two hours. So if we're hitting an hour and a half, we're only fielding a half an hour, which is something that as the season went on, that's something that we really worked on hard. So we would be um, fresh as fielders, but our hitting, we knew we had to have a lot of reps as well as they worked hard in the weight room. They set a lot of standards that we hadn't set in the past as far as marks for their Olympic lifts. I think it was the numbers one through nine having the ability to hit home runs. That was the excitement. We always had the ability from Katie Grimes to Tracy Yoshikawa to Kelly Majum leading off. We moved all those players around. Jessica Iwata was hitting in the six hole and we moved her up to the two slot. And then once we started moving players around and we got a lineup that was consistent and complemented each other well, that's when we settled on the lineup of Kelly Majum, Jessica Iwata, uh, Melissa Gonzalez, we moved Amanda Tauli'i down to number eight, and that paved the way for Jenna Rodriguez to be in the number four slot, and she was hitting down in the lineup, up in the lineup, and we didn't really know where to put her until she became the bulldog of the lineup and, and really was the aggressive one in the, in the four slot, and that's what you need. The team had been counting down all season long, and it was something that I wasn't really caught up in. I knew we were fast approaching the home run record when we were on the road and we hit 32, 36 home runs on our 11-day road trip. And as the season unfolded and as the series kept mounting and we kept hitting home runs, a serious countdown began in the dugout. Everyone knew where we were, and I would be asked... Uh, do you know where you are in the home run count? And I would tell them honestly, I didn't really know. And it came to light at the WAC tournament is when it really, really took on a different um, force because we were hitting home runs over and over and over again. We had a big game against San Jose State, and then we had another big game uh, as we went into further into the tournament, and then we had a real good game against Fresno, and that's when everything happened uh, and, and everyone was really excited about the home run that set the record. Early on in the season, we, we made some moves. We had some people that were in that weren't producing, and we kept talking to the team about role-playing, about waiting for your turn, about being ready for your turn. And everyone that stepped into the lineup when we moved it around made the difference because when they were out of the lineup, they knew they accepted and accepted a new role, uh, whether it be a pinch runner, a pinch hitter, or if someone went down, they were ready defensively. So we never had any let-ups in practice. We did have some potential starters that were sitting on the bench that will take over in the future. But right now, it's just a matter of this past year, the chemistry worked so well, everyone caught on, to the chemistry within our team. We had no drama and we just worked that and worked it to perfection because we did hit a lot of milestones that they had set for themselves. And as a coaching staff, these are the pinnacles that you want to reach and the World Series is, is the ultimate. The fans added to the excitement as we went through the season with the culmination of the Fresno Series. We had an opportunity to win the WAC outright 1,200 fans showed up, and it was just 
sheer bedlam out there with everyone shouting and cheering and we won that first game and, and lost the second game but won the third game and solidified our spot in the WAC tournament but the fans that came out and supported us along with the psychos that are, are, are a group of uh, real fanatical people that that came out and supported us and some of them didn't know what softball was all about until really embracing us and it was just really neat to see all those fans because we had never really had more than 600 people at our games. Mm -hmm.